In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most important rock albums of all time. I'm talking about 10 by Pearl Jam. It got this awesome super deluxe vinyl edition. I picked it up. I'm going to show you how cool it is right after this. So if you guys have been watching my Instagram, I've been talking about how I'm on this massive grunge rock kick. I'm in my phase maybe 10 years after I'm supposed to be in terms of my age, but I love it. I can't stop listening to Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, all of the greats, Mother Love Bone, Temple of the Dog, but Pearl Jam has really taken a hold of me. In my car, I listen to the Pearl Jam XM radio station every time I'm in it, and I live in LA, so I'm in my car a lot. Pearl Jam went from a band that I didn't really know too much about to one of my favorite bands in a matter of months. The only album of theirs I ever really listened to was 10, and I didn't think too much of it, but now that I like the band that much, it has a whole new meaning to me. I've been eyeing the Pearl Jam 10 Super Deluxe box set at Amoeba for weeks, and it was $120, which was a little too much for me to spend. But the other day I went in, and it had been marked down to $79.99. I couldn't say no. And you'll see why. So let's break into this bad boy, and you can see what bang you get for your buck. Comes in this really nice box, great texture to it. The spine says Pearl Jam 1990 to 1992, because that's the era that all the stuff was covered in that's in this set. So this box set comes with several vinyl records, amongst everything else the original 10 LP, and then the remastered version by Brendan O'Brien. Honestly, this is one of the coolest remasters of all time because it's a night and day difference. They really sound like different albums. And I can't tell you which one I like more. They're both worth your time. I will say I'm a little bummed that the original LP doesn't have the original coloring, which is like kind of like a pinkish magenta color. This is the color of all the remastered 10s, so that's a little oversight, I thought, but I can live. They're one disc each, but they do come with these nice poly lined sleeves. They're not just these crappy white sleeves, so I really do appreciate that. That's a nice little touch for collectors and people that like to keep their stuff clean like I do. We're not done with the records yet. This is really cool. So I'm not totally sure about this one. This might be the only way you can get this. This is Pearl Jam Drop in the Park at Magnuson Park in September 1992. This was a live show they did with some pretty awesome sound quality, and they pressed it to a two disc record. So there's this really cool gatefold in the middle that has a whole bunch of pictures of the band. And double disc, I mean, that's that's great. I love these center labels, too. They look really cool with the Lightning Bolt, which is kind of an allusion maybe to their last album, Lightning Bolt, which is many years after the fact. That could be cool. It's a really nice packaging. It's a really thick spine. And yeah, this is a really cool addition. I don't think I would have picked this up if it wasn't in the box set, but Pearl Jam Live sounds better than a lot of bands recorded. It's just a fact. Oh, and take my word for it. The records sound great. Now on to the meat and potatoes. Another box within the box. Has this really nice font, PJ. We know what that stands for. There's this really nice bag that kind of has the silhouette of the 10 logo with this little Pearl Jam logo in the middle. And inside the bag, all sorts of treats. The blood of Eddie Vedder. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but there's a lot of cool stuff. This is a little thing that says Pearl Jam Rookie. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think this is like a replica ticket or backstage pass from a concert. It's awesome. So before they were Pearl Jam, the band actually was called Mookie Blaylock, which is named after a basketball player. They had to change the name before the debut album came out. So they became Pearl Jam, but they still wanted to allude to that, so they picked his number, 10, to call their debut album. They included this little Mookie Blaylock basketball card just to pay a little homage to that era, which I think is kind of cool. We also have a replica ticket to uh, Drop in the Park, the concert that we have the live vinyl for. So this is a nice little touch, too. I feel like I'm in 1992 right now. Cool little Pearl Jam sticker, pretty retro. I like that. Couple Pearl Jam postcards. This one with the little girl and the gun is a little terrifying, but I do like this Alive one, which is one of the best songs on 10. There's also a print of some of the negatives, so I guess from pictures they took on the tour, is my guess. Bunch of really cool little shots of the band if you want to get into that kind of stuff. You can see some really fun things in there. There's also a huge poster advertising 10. I mean, this thing is wall size. It's not your little average print. This is this is a really nice addition that really adds to the value of the box, in my opinion. There's also a bunch of these awesome development notes and lyrics and liner notes and prints on the front. These are really high quality cardstock, and I think this is a really solid touch as well. This is this is for the true super fan, but I think anyone that appreciates you know what goes into an album would appreciate this as well. There's so much in this box set that you could spend hours just reading and looking through everything. So I'm obviously not going to do that on camera, but I highly advise checking it out. Another little press release type thing in here. A lot of these really cool replicas from 92. I like that. Now this is cool. This is a replica composition notebook of Eddie Vedder's notes and thoughts around the era. There's pictures in it. There's all kinds of uh, 
drawings. The amount of stuff in here is immense, and you could really just dive into all these really rare pictures of the band that you haven't seen in a lot of places. They have just thoughts that Eddie had, little stubs. He has a stub from a Seattle Supersonics for a Chicago Bulls game. This is a love letter to Seattle, to everything Eddie Vedder loved, and to the band of that era. This is really cool. As someone who's recently got into cassette tapes, this is a genuine replica cassette that actually plays of the Mama Sun cassette tapes, which was the demos that came out before 10. There's only three tracks on it, but I don't think there is another release of it on vinyl or cassette. Maybe on CD, I'm not entirely sure, but this is a cool replica cassette. I think this is the only way to get it in this box set. It says, For Stone and Jeff, a friend in California. This is... This is really, this is cool. And finally, we have a couple more treats. This cool little CD slip case, we got three discs. We have the original mastering of 10 on this CD. And this one is the remastered, as we talked about before. But unlike the record, which I'm a little bummed about, this has bonus tracks, I guess. B-sides and stuff that were on various releases around the time the album came out. One of my favorite Pearl Jam songs, State of Love and Trust, is on here. So this CD is going to definitely get some play. And last but not least, this is maybe my favorite part of the whole box set. This is a DVD of their MTV Unplugged performance. Now, if you know the Unplugged performances, there was a really good one from Alice in Chains, good one from Nirvana. They are these intimate settings where they play acoustically and with a smaller version of the band. And it's just such an incredible experience to watch those live. And the Pearl Jam one is exceptional. This is a really nice addition. This is a nice little cherry on top of everything else we just saw. So as you guys can see, this release is the definitive ultimate version of 10 that you can get as a Pearl Jam fan. You got cassette, you got CDs, you got vinyl, you got notebooks, posters. It is everything you could possibly want to tribute this incredible album. Now, 10 is an album where every song could be the single. And I'm sure most of you know a handful of them, like Jeremy, Black, Alive, Even Flow. If you don't know the album, you should really go back and listen to it because every track is so good. I highly recommend listening to Garden, listening to Release. Those are two of my unsung heroes of the album. Like I said, if you can find this for a good price, definitely recommend picking it up. You get a lot for your money. Please leave a comment and let me know what your favorite Pearl Jam song is and maybe your favorite song from 10 specifically. Please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week. Channel favorite Sun Kill Moon is releasing a double album. Common as Light and Love, Our Red Valleys of Blood, is going to be potentially a very long album. He's known for doing these...